Yo, yo, guys, what's going on? I'm just here back again with a, another review. So, yeah, Umbrella Academy. I just, I don't, I know what, I don't like, honestly, I'm filming, honestly, guys. First season, fantastic. Second season, it was all right. Uh, third season, eh, fourth season, uh, yeah. I don't know what's going on, man. Like, it just, it just kept going downhill, downhill, downhill. And, like, obviously, you know, I'm a fan of, like, superhero shows in general. Because I love the boys. I love comic books. You know, I've been a fan of comic books, you know, since we're all were younger. Since I was younger. And so, like, I, I was like, I had high hopes. I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it a chance. Even though in the first episode, I was like, what am I doing? This, this, this seems, like, so interesting to me. I was like, you know, I'm going to give it a chance. Maybe I'm just, you know, maybe I'm missing something. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm, maybe it's just like, you know, like, like, what's it called? I'm looking at it with with uh, rose tinted glasses like oh this sucks <laughs> but no it, it generally sucked like the whole plot didn't make any sense and like everything i mean the plot yeah you know, i don't know but the plot was all right but everything like all the it was like as much of scenes that did not need to be be in there five and uh what's her name lila their romance that could be completely cut that was unnecessary at all like whatsoever that little kiss that could have been in it and then it could cut to him confronting them like you sleep with her or some shit like that and and I, it could have been that could have been that's cool you know what i mean but they did not need to have all that because that is just disgusting because <laughs> i was like i mean i think she met him when he was like 17 so was, i'm like that's you know come on y'all y'all gotta you know but maybe that's just me what do you guys think that was just weird for me in all ways <laughs> um and then yeah and then honestly uh what's his name diego and uh number one i forget his name uh diego number one going to that FBI office or it was CSI CIA office completely filler unnecessary unneeded like there was a lot of like honestly this whole season was just unnecessary and like there was a lot of th honestly if I'm being honest with you guys they could have ended it last season by just you know saying this is what's had to happen and then that would have been cool I would have been bet you know what I mean but I don't know man this whole season just felt like a money grab honestly because nothing really like progressed nothing happened nothing changed like they didn't like there was no big like revolution or anything like that like like, like literally like did nothing nothing felt new you know what i mean it just felt like the same plot happening again and i was like all right cool i was like oh this is this is this is the end are we sure about that all right cool let's hope that's how it is and so yeah it was just it was just weird but uh yeah it was weird and then let's see who else and then honestly i'm gonna be honest man the whole like what's klaus and uh what's her name uh i forget her name but the, you know the girl to the talking abilities like i didn't like that storyline just because obviously he, like he's trying to be sober and stuff like that so i was really disappointed in that just because of like you know just you know let, let's, let's support each other not just bring each other down because he just went straight back to the bottom like immediately i'm like y'all couldn't find another way of doing that you know what i mean there was, there was no other way of having him do that like not like uh and there's no other reason so i'm like all right cool and even like the whole plot line with him and the dog and all that unnecessary again there was none of that really needed to be in there so like there was like him like there was i'm gonna be honest this whole season felt like filler like there was no actual plot going on at all like literally if you, th if you look at every episode and what they focus on and you think of the grand scheme of the whole show it meant nothing and like literally the, everything that happened meant nothing in the end because, like, all the characters that were going to be there at the end were still there. So I'm like, all right. What was, what was the point of all this? This is just literally just filler. Filler, so. Yeah. Like, honestly, yeah, my favorite season was definitely, like, season one. I think season two, just because just of Klaus and, like, that little, like, rebirth, that was, that was so cool. Um, but, yeah, season one, season two, that's really the best, if, if that, season two. But, like, season one, for sure, is, like, the best season um, but yeah, what do you guys think? This has been weighing on my mind a lot. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. It just it just seemed like a waste. Honestly, yeah, this and then the bear, like they 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 messed up that one too. So I don't know, man. I don't know, like people just keep things going, man. Like, they can't end end the show right there, and you're good. You know, I mean, what show was that? Succession. Succession knew how to end the show, man. Like they ended it, boom, clean cut. Everyone's everyone's lives are worse than before. And those consequences, you know what I mean? And like you see it, you see the progression, you see the decline, you see the rise and fall. And like, yeah, that was it, man. But yeah, I mean, this whole season of, of Umbrella Academy was lackluster to say the least. But uh, yeah, what do you guys think? Do you guys enjoy the season? If not, tell me so. Tell me so. 
Um, yeah, don't forget to comment, subscribe, and comment down below. Just out.